The polystyrene processing requires a prior reduction in their volume. Before the reduction, it is very important to clean the material. It is necessary to remove food debris and any fluids present in the trays and glasses. It is also necessary to remove any tape, paper, cloth, paint, cement, and any other attached or glued material to styrofoam before processing. After removing these materials, we proceed to grinding. We can use a suitable mill, or in small scale, we can do it by hand, breaking it into pieces of 4 cm or less. Place the chopped material in the reduction container until it is full, and put the container for draining excess fluid. Then, pour the reducer liquid over the polystyrene, trying to wet the surface as much as possible. Collect the drain and pour the liquid again on the polystyrene once or twice. For a container of 100 liters, 2 liters of reducer liquid are required, red pour or barso. Then, place a burden above the material, which will help to compress it, thereby contributing to the reduction in volume. As a burden, you can use the same cake formed during the process above. Now, we will see how it goes. In fast motion, the reduction in volume of the polystyrene. After 4 to 6 hours, remove the cake, let it drain into another container, fill again the bin with polystyrene, and repeat the steps above in a new process. Cakes produced like this can be delivered to Dr. Calderon Laboratory for further processing.